Welcome to the second part of the program. African countries need to revise their production methods to make up for the existing deficit balance between imports and exports of agricultural products. They must, according to experts from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, include innovative systems such as agricultural data or solar energy in production mechanisms. The use of these technologies will help reverse the trend and increase productivity and resilience, according to the World Bank. Michael D.B. and Serge Kofi with more. Africa is currently undergoing a period of sustained economic growth and transformation. Its population is growing rapidly and its economies are developing and diversifying. The electrification of the continent is accompanied by an unprecedented development of renewable energies, in particular solar and wind power. This revolution is also affecting Africa agriculture, even though it is less dependent on the carbon economy than those of the richer countries. The continent has enormous potential to feed itself and also eliminate hunger and food insecurity. The potential in Africa lies in its land, water and oceans, men and women, and its knowledge and huge markets. In view of this, the African Union chose 10 years ago to make agriculture one of the pillars of the new partnership for Africa development. Ben Good is the executive director of Energy for Impact, a non-governmental organization based in Nairobi, Kenya. He now joins us to discuss the place of the energy revolution in African agriculture. Good morning and thanks for joining us on the program. No, I'm actually in the UK right now. Let's begin with solar energy, one of the most exploited systems in modern agriculture. Tell us, how can it contribute to the development of agriculture? Well, first thing to remember is, is the great importance of this question. Africa agriculture uh, has not grown in its productivity uh, at anything like uh, the rate of other continents. Um, and one result of that is that um, food security is becoming uh, a, a big issue. And of course, as the population is set to go past 2 billion in the coming years, will become uh, an even greater issue. So uh, we have uh, around 600 million um, people in rural Africa at the moment without, uh, without power. As that is being uh, addressed, then that creates significant opportunities for improving uh, the productivity and profitability of, uh, of farming uh, in Africa. And in particular, we're interested in smallholder farmers, about 33 million of them in sub-Saharan Africa. And the questions are, how can, how can solar energy increase uh, their productivity uh, and their livelihoods. Um, part of the answer is that it cannot be done on its own. Um, other things have to go well as well, but solar energy can make uh, a significant contribution. If food wasted in Africa was saved, it could feed up to 30 million people according to the UN. How can access to solar energy better the situation for Africa? Uh, I touched on this a little bit. Um, uh, increased um, capacity nearer the farm gate to keep keep product fresh uh, will clearly pay um, a significant value. Uh, my own organization is involved um, uh, energy for impact in uh, significant projects to um, expand the use of uh, uh, solar irrigation, uh, but also working uh, with a British government funded uh, program called Energy Catalyst to support uh, energy innovators with a number of businesses that are uh, doing work on uh, refrigeration uh, business models. Uh, we work, for example, um, with company like uh, Enviru, uh, with uh, Inspira Farms. These are, these are organizations that have got um, uh, a, a business model that is about um, providing the equipment um, in the communities and then renting out space for uh, refrigeration. 
Much agricultural land remains underutilized in Africa. Is data a decisive factor in transforming the continent's agriculture? Improved data about uh, geographic data about the suitability of different parts of the country uh, for different crops can be overlaid with other sorts of data that's relevant for determining the right business models, uh, proximity to the main grid, uh, proximity to transport hubs and so on. So these enable planners to design intervention programs that are likely to uh, create uh, the, the most uh, pr productive outcomes for uh, agriculture as a whole. So there's geographic information um, for planning purposes. Um, other things we might talk about, well, I just mentioned um, uh, putting data in the hands of farmers so that they can make decisions about what's going on in markets, understanding market prices. That's a form of data connectivity, uh, which can also uh, play a role. Um, a third area I would highlight um, relates back to uh, my first comment about um, it's not just about the equipment, it's about things, other things that need to be put in place for farmers' uh, livelihoods to be improved. Um, and so, for example, if you're going to see a significant increase in uh, smallholders using solar-powered irrigation... Thank you for your thoughts on the contribution of solar energy to the improvements of agricultural production in Africa. It's a pleasure. That's it for this edition of Business Africa. Thanks for watching. Get more online at African News and African News FR for French. Enjoy the rest of your viewing and until next time, do well to follow recommendations to protect you and yours from COVID-19.